All right, I think we can all agree that California is getting a little bit weird with their politics and their regulations on, well, pretty much electric vehicles and then electric anything, getting rid of the chainsaws, leaf blowers, making your car run on batteries, but they don't know where the power comes from for the batteries. But it's kind of funny. The power grid's not good enough for all the battery stuff as it is and to keep the houses going. So, for instance, I'm at Hollis's house right now. He's got a Kubota diesel generator, 11K. This runs his house in the winter time when the power gets knocked out. It also runs uh, neighbor's house a little bit. But also, you rely on that during the summertime as well because the grid gets overdone by the fact that, well, we have uh, air conditioners running and all that stuff. So you end up using that thing more so than the regular grid power. We always say, uh, oh, solar's actually a pretty nice thing. Not bad to have. We've got solar on this house, help out a little bit. Solar on my house out. That's the only thing I really think is beneficial because you're putting power back into the grid. But they threw a new loop. Not so much California, but just a town regulation. We've got these street fairs for during the holidays. My uncle runs one of them. He sells uh, little figurines, kind of cool stuff. He used to have a nice little Honda generator. Super quiet, you know how Hondas are. But he's not allowed to have that there anymore because he's not allowed to have generators. So how is he going to run the lights on his booth? The street fairs are in the dark. So that's where this box came in. So we're going to go show you the booth, open this thing up. And can't have generators, but modern science came out with these sweet little power packs. And I showed you guys one of these before. It's not a diesel generator, but it's a power pack. I'll go over there and open it up. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. You can't be taking power from the grid because you're overdoing it. So you're running a diesel generator or any kind of generator so you can maintain some of your power. But now they're saying you can't have the generator. It's a town event kind of deal. Nevertheless, they're low E. They don't produce crap for emissions. They're nice Honda generators and you can't even run those. So we're gonna get this little power box set up. And I think this actually come in clutch real good. Remember a couple months back, a company sent me a, one of these, what do you call these? I call it a power box or power station. And I use it every day, no joke, every day to heat up our lunches. Got a microwave on the truck and this is my little mobile power supply station. And apparently, Makita came out with a microwave that's, you know, 18 volt now. But nevertheless, we still got the setup in the truck. And my uncle was saying, hey, they don't allow us to have generators for the Christmas shows anymore. So I let him borrow my little power station and ran his whole booth for how many hours? Four hours. Four hours? And how many percent did it go down? Ten percent. Ten percent is all it dropped down. So you get 40 hours out of one of these things. Then. Be a link in the description, obviously, below for this thing. That looks really weird seeing it brand new compared to all dirted up. <laughs> Thousand watt power station. All right. You can hook it up to a 110 plug. Solar. Is that right? That's yep. a solar hookup right yep. there. Easy input. 52%. She's got a little life. This is our answer to the no generators allowed at the shows anymore. Yep. Get a little clip of this thing in action at the show. How many minutes is that? I know one thing that's going to appeal to everybody. It's got a phone charger on it, Mark. It's got the wireless one on the top, and then it's got four USB plugs and then the Type C down there for discharge. So, you know. Mm. Business a little slow, you can make sure your phone's charged up so you can find more stuff to buy on Marketplace. Always charged up credit card payments. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's why we are unplugged. Yeah, go figure. Into this, and that plugs into this. So that's a plugs into solar. Oh, this will plug straight into the line. 
Yeah. Put a solar panel on it. Mm -hmm. Like you legitimately could put a solar panel on there while this thing's parked during the day and it would charge that box up and it would be plenty to run these lights and any of the extras you're going to be putting on them. Yeah. It says 100 oh, yeah. watts right now, so that's 10 hours. You're pulling 100 watts right now? The microwave pulls uh, 986. Well, this end is for clocks. Can imagine what and then my hanging clocks would go here or here on either side. What could you cook it in? Well, this is, uh, microwave. This is all the Nothing shelves, you want. all my other stuff on the other side. And oh. this, is, this is the end for all the inventory and where you do the sales. At. See that house? The magnet holds that flat belly on there? Kind of? I don't know why it's not gripping it that good. That one's better. A little bit. <clears throat> I came over the magnet and I did that. Jeez. boy. You gonna go look at all this? Come here. Look at all this stuff. Uncle Mark's selling. Look at that. He's got a couple guitar people, drummer, archery man. That box that we just brought? That's power in this bad boy. It's pretty cool, huh? Pretty good? Hey, is that pretty good? Yeah. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good? You got a better hat than some of these dudes. What are you doing, little one? Who got it? All right, folks, I'm gonna try to walk a fine line right here. Tie today's video topic into the topics that are normally on the channel. Diesel trucks. Diesel engines, I strongly believe in diesel. I believe it powers the planet and I believe it moves the planet. There's no strict suitable solution to completely take over diesels currently out there or realistically in the foreseeable future without upgrading a bunch of wires everywhere in power stations. Probably need some more ponds made. So we got some dams for hydroelectric so it produce more energy because man, that's probably one thing we're missing out on. Everybody's on the solar bench. I myself might be a little bit involved with that. But the hydroelectric, if you got water flowing downstream, you dam it up. Now we got a reservoir, so we don't got so much drought kind of activity. And that thing's going to be producing electricity 24-7. It's just going to keep rocking and rolling. But I want to talk a little bit about batteries. I will have a full video later on talking about... Uh, California saying no more to small gasoline engines. You got to get a small gas chainsaw or leaf blower. I'll get a couple of my buddies involved so we can have a podcast style format so we can really have a discussion about it. Read some of the comments from a video I posted last year about how California said no more diesel or gas engines or something like that in mid 2030s. That's the sale of new vehicles. They're not going to kick all of them out. And man, it's going to shake things up something fierce. I don't know what's actually going to happen. If it's going to happen, we'll wait on that. But I do want to make a video talking about that. But I do want to be open-minded in certain areas about battery power stuff. And now if anybody's saying, oh no, battery, battery, this, you're going hippie. There's not one person that's probably actively trying to save as many of these older Dodge diesels or any Dodge diesel, any Dodge diesel, any diesels. The Ford can show up that's been run down. I'll be willing to try and fix that thing. I want to save some of these older rigs because they're not making them no more. But I will be open-minded to say, there's some cool stuff out there that makes life a lot easier. The convenience factor is there, and we've been using the convenience factor on a lot of things for a long time with our power tools. That's a complete easy way to translate convenience into electric. Okay, you got screw gun, drill gun, sawzall, skill saw, table saws are even battery powered now. Sure, they don't last as long, but that's pretty dang handy, you know. Out on a job site, you're still building the house, they haven't ran power to it. Yeah, you gotta run a generator, sure. Trying to run your air compressor, you even got your nail guns are battery power. So you show up with a whole fleet of batteries, you could work the day, or if you have one of these power packs like I got, and you simply run a solar power to it. You can get bigger ones, smaller ones, and you could realistically work off the grid building your stuff. Uh, I don't think on a full contractor crew level, but the fact that that's there. It's even transferred over to automotive. The biggest thing I think is cool, I mean, it's been there for a while, but they've gotten bigger and better is the impacts. You could take a lug nut off of 747 jet, you know, 
By the way, speaking of jets, if you think these are bad and all diesel vehicles should be kicked off the planet, and you have any plane tickets booked right now or have any thoughts about flying a plane, you should be excluded from the conversation. Be realistic, how many gallons of fuel does a jet burn on your flight in state, out of state, out of country, over the pond? Let's be realistic. Or if you even witnessed a wildfire and didn't do anything about it, prevent it, probably should be excluded from the conversation because those are some huge pollutants that nobody likes to talk about. But I do want to admit the uh, Griselle Power Pack saved the day out on this particular situation and a lot of other situations I've used it in. I don't know why the town decided to shut down the use of generators uh, for the street fairs because theoretically one Honda generator could run three or four booths, relatively zero emissions. They're super quiet, so they're not affecting anything. But they switched to, can't you have that? Didn't offer a solution. Can't run a power cord out of one of the shops. Even if you own the shop, you can't run a cord for a tripping hazard. So that Cresel Power Pack came in the clutch because my uncle's booth was arguably the brightest one on the lineup out there. The brighter your booth, the more attention it draws for customers to come in and check out your product. I've seen some people running clip-on flashlights hanging from their awnings on their booth. Probably not even bright enough, unfortunately, to maybe read a book. So it's really not shining a light on their product good enough to see it, let alone sell it. And some other people probably had a car battery kicked underneath their table with a couple cables coming out and power inverter to run a couple little low-key lights. So that Cresel Power Pack that we had, I think it worked out perfect. Not only did it run the booth, but all the other features on it, all the USB options. You hook a solar panel up to it if you're running in the daylight. Uh, off-grid kind of work. I keep one of those power packs, the same model, in my truck for running the microwave so we can have hot lunches. Uh, there's nothing better, honestly, on a cold, rainy day at work than a hot lunch. And I never really understood how much that could just improve your attitude, just having a nice, warm, hot lunch, and then go back to work. I, it's, I was game-changing. So I'm glad I you know stumbled upon this product and made that happen but uh, yeah they got other microwaves by makita and stuff now but at the time this worked out slick so we'll have full other video talking about california's new regulations and laws and all the people that were commenting saying that you know they're anti everything in some forms yes i'm anti a lot of the stuff that they're trying to throw down our throats but a lot of the attitudes in the comments were equated to want to rage quit because they slipped on a banana peel on Mario Kart kind of an attitude. And I don't want to be like that. I don't, that just, that's not going to hurt my demeanor or the family's demeanor if I'm just always bitter and mad trying to get out of here because I like this area. I've been to a lot of other states and it's oddly enough going to other states that I thought were more free realm on stuff under the hood of these. There was more conversations in those other states pro Tesla and pro electric vehicle than probably 90% or 95% of the people in my area. So I'm telling you other states were more in favor of it than California uh, citizens were. So I don't know what that's about. I thought that was weird. So I don't want to sound like, you know, conspiracy kind of deal, but it was weird. But anyway, link in the description for this product. I know it's a long winded rant here at the end and it's actually taken me about an hour to film all this. And I like this take, so we're gonna let it run. Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess stay positive out there. Yep, go out there and vote and try to make your laws not be so ridiculous. But we'll see you guys in the next one. I, I do like the solar. I do like the power pack. Let's get on to the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.